sorry, but we're... Jenna. I didn't think we had anything to talk about last time. I know we don't now. Jenna, please let me talk to you. About what? The baby. Goodbye. Bobby told me that you're thinking about having an abortion. Oh. And you've come here to talk me into it. No, no, just the opposite. I don't think you'd ever forgive yourself if you did away with this baby. Then what? What do you want? I want you to have it. What? You know, you really are an enigma. Why? Jenna, please, this is really difficult for me. Why in a million years would you want me to have this baby? Because I want you to let me and Bobby adopt it. What? I know what this baby would mean to Bobby. I don't believe what I'm hearing. Jenna, you are carrying the baby that I could never give to Bobby. I could love that baby. It would have everything that it wanted. You're trying to buy my baby. Oh, no, no, I... No? Oh, why don't you go on? Tell me how rich you are and how you'll set me up for the rest of my life. Jenna, that's not what I mean. It isn't. No. This is the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Oh, you sound like you want my sympathy. I'm trying to make the best of a horrible situation. Sure. The best for you. The best for everyone. For me, for Bobby, and for you. You've been through hell the last couple of years, and now you're trying to start a new life and get yourself together. I can't believe that you're going to have an abortion. But keeping the baby, Bobby's baby, how would you manage? The same way I've managed all my life. Oh, Jenna, please try to understand what I'm saying. I know it must sound awful, but I don't mean it that way. I've rehearsed this a thousand times in my head, but I just don't have the words! Wrong. You have all the words. You should have kept them to yourself. Now get out of here, Pam. And don't you ever, ever come near me again. I want to talk to you. I'm sorry. She just wouldn't wait outside. Phyllis, it's all right. Uh, just close the door. Thank you. How could you let Pam do it? Do what? Pam! She came to see me. She wants me to have the baby, your baby! I don't believe it. Oh, you better believe it. And it gets even better. Your wife wants to adopt my child. Adopt it? Oh, she wants me to leave Dallas. She wants the two of you to raise our baby. Get me out of the way. Oh, send Jenna packing with a few million dollars. She says you can get the baby opportunities that I can't. But I want to tell you something. Ewing money can't buy everything. It can't buy me, and it can't buy my child. I'm going to have this baby, and I'm going to give it the love that money can't buy. Jenna, I think it's wonderful you're going to have the baby. Oh, don't get any ideas, Bobby. You and Pam will never see this baby. You'll never hold it, and you'll never share in his growing up. Jenna, just because you're angry with me, don't take it out on the child. Oh, I'm angry, all right. I'm also going to sell the boutique that you gave me, and I'm also going to hand you the check. I don't want a check. I gave that to you as a gift. That boutique is the only thing that's connecting you and me, and I can't wait to get rid of it. And as far as I'm concerned, the baby will never know your name. When were you going to tell me about Jenna? You saw her? She came by the office. I don't think I've ever seen her quite so angry. Bobby, I didn't mean to make things worse. I did what I thought was right, or at least I tried to. I understand why you did it. You're not angry? I'm not angry. Are you sure? You did it out of love. I can understand that. Bobby, I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs>